Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Jamie the Crafty DIY Guy. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing some fall DIY projects for you. I am so excited. It is fall DIY season. I don't know about you guys. I know it's a little crazy because it's summertime and we're like sweating and you know, it's like summertime still, but fall DIY season is here and I'm loving it because fall is actually my favorite season. I absolutely love all things fall and I hope that you'll love some of these videos and some of these projects. Now, not everything is fall. Some of it is certainly transitional. There's one thing that kind of can be in your home all year round for sure. And, uh, I'm really excited about all of these projects today. So let's get into those videos or the projects. Ugh, bloopers. <laughs> right, everyone. And for my first DIY, we're going to take one of these candle making kits. This one from Dollar Tree has certainly seen some better days, but I actually loved the scents that were in it. Not necessarily the colors, but uh, it was also the only one that was left. And then we're going to be using one of those pumpkin trinket kind of uh containers. I don't know what you call it. The first thing I'm going to do is pop that wick out of my glass candle holder because we are going to turn this trinket tray or this trinket thing into a candle. And we're going to do it by using that uh, wick first in the center, kind of like so, gluing that down. And then I'm going to open up my little baggies of wax and just start pouring those in. Now, this shape obviously is a little bit different than the shape of the candle holder that it came with. So, your candle is going to be a little bit wider and it's totally fine. It's going to work out just fine. If you wanted to use or if you were lucky enough to grab two of these uh, candle kits, I would definitely do that because this would um, fill it up really, really nicely. I'm pretty happy with the way that it kind of worked out with just the um, single wax kit here, the single candle making kit. But um, if you can grab two of these, that would really be ideal. Now, I went ahead and just layered everything. That way, I could just keep the white at the top. And then um, I kind of made a mistake here and uh, kind of shook it out. And uh, it ended up mixing and showing some of the purple. But that's okay. It's going to mix together when it blends and wax it melts and everything anyway. So not a total big deal. Now, I cannot take credit for this idea because this was definitely inspired from my girl, Sarah Jane from She on the cheap she is amazing and uh, she did some of these on her channel i will link her video below if you don't follow sarah jane you should definitely check her out because she has some fantastic fall ideas and some just fantastic ideas in general and she's such a sweet and genuine and beautiful person inside and out and i really really love her so be sure and check it out and check out by the way how beautiful this candle holder is i really love the way that this turned out and it just feels super seasonal and um, i think it's a great start to the holidays all right, everyone, in fall DIY idea number two, I have this wood circle that I picked up at a yard sale, and then I have this Dollar Tree candlestick. Now, these wood circles were actually free. The uh, couple that I got this, these from, they were um, recently married. They were newlyweds, and they had these as part of their centerpiece at their wedding, and um, when they found out what I did and they found out that I had a YouTube channel, they gave me five of these for free. So I'm super, super happy about that. Now, this particular one has this little piece of wood on it or this bark. So I'm going to go ahead and just chip that off. And I am actually going to save that bark because I'm sure I can use it for something. And then for the wood circle itself, because these did kind of sit out in their garage for a little while, I am just going to kind of scrub it up with my Clorox wipe. And I'm doing that for two reasons, really. The Clorox wipe is going to help clean it up, but it will actually kind of lighten up the wood just a little bit. You'll notice that when we start putting everything together that the Clorox did kind of work for the wood. And, you know, it's not something that I would uh, necessarily Maybe maybe you could even soak a piece of wood like this in Clorox. It, it may completely bleach it out. I'm not really sure. But uh, the Clorox wipe was kind of an accidental um, thing. I It was close by. It was handy. I didn't feel like going up and getting a dish towel or a wash rag or a, you know, 
cloth from the garage or something to scrub this up with. So I just used a Clorox wipe and I guess it was kind of a happy accident because I really did like the way this was starting to look. Now, when you peel away the sticker that is on the bottom of your um, candlestick, you'll notice that it kind of uh, reveals this hole and uh, that uh, sticker also covers up a lot of the area that is not painted. Well, that sticker is also covering up a very flat surface, which is perfect for glue and I'm using wood glue. This is wood glue by Shorebonder and um, I am just going to glue my candlestick really upside down onto my wood circle and I'm just going to hold that in place until it really starts to adhere and then once it does adhere you've got a really cool rustic looking like tiered candle holder and I really am super super happy with this and the way that this looks and it looks so good on a tiered tray and I think you could really use it kind of anytime this is just a tray that's on my coffee table and if you love that little DIY that's up there you might really love this next one which is a very simple mirror now I'm going to take one of the larger Dollar Tree mirrors and then I have this baseball cutout I did grab this from Hobby Lobby during my last shopping haul there and um, I also have these wood circle halves that I picked up on Amazon I think these are either the 20 millimeter or the 25 millimeter, and I will link those below if you're interested in doing that. And then for the mirror, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out of the frame. I'm going to put the mirror face down just to help protect it. And I'm going to try and kind of center this up. And I, I could measure it, but I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. And all I'm gonna do is take some of these wood circles and just make sure that I have space on either side of them kind of in, you know, kind of treating it like a clock. Let's put it at three, at 12, at nine, at six. And then I, I think I threw in like a 430 there. But uh, just to kind of get an idea of where my center point is for this circle itself. And then once I've done that, then I'm gonna go ahead and just trace around my mirror. And that way I know where my mirror will go and I can start gluing on my wood circles. Now, once everything was traced around, I did just go ahead and just take my circle wood pieces and just kind of laid them out to make sure that uh, my spacing would be proper as I was kind of working my way around. None of these are glued down right now and I just wanted to make sure that these were going to fit and if I needed to make any slight adjustments, I could. I got very lucky. Um, all of these wood circles just happen to fit perfectly within that wood circle. So I know I'm going to be able to complete the first wood circle in the center. Now that one that didn't move is glued down. So now I'm going to just start replacing or adding, I should say, not replacing. Duh. I'm going to just start working my way all the way around and getting all of these wood circles, these wood half circles glued down around the large pencil circle. And I'm just kind of going right on the edge and I'm trying to make sure that I do it as evenly as possible all the way around, making sure, of course, not to overlap into that inner circle because that is where my mirror is going to go. So once I've got a circle complete, then I'm going to go through and just kind of alternate the next set of uh, circles and uh, the wood circles and as you can see it's kind of fitting together like a little bit of a puzzle piece and um, giving me some alternate spaces in there and then once all of that is done we are going to move on to the next step which is just kind of finalizing and adding a third row of those wood circles all the way around and um, giving myself this kind of a uh, wood circle wood frame for my mirror. I Let's count how many times I can say the word wood during this particular DIY, right? <laughs> now, once everything is glued and ready to go, I'm going to add some antiquing wax and I'm literally just going to pour a nice little puddle of my antiquing wax right in the center of my wood circle frame. And I'm just going to kind of uh, swirl it around, kind of like I'm icing a uh, chocolate cake, I guess. And uh, then I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to go ahead and work my way into and in between all of those wood circles with uh, the brush. Now that brush I'm using is kind of a regular painting brush and it's important to have like a, I think it's a, is it a stippling brush? Um, that way you can really get in between and get really close into some of those cracks and stuff. Um, if you use a larger sponge brush or something, I don't think that it would kind of work the wax or the antiquing wax into some of those same areas that you really need. And uh, I'm just kind of pulling 
pulling from the puddle, as you can see, as I work my way around, I'm literally just pulling individual kind of, uh, puddle, um, puddles of antiquing wax and just kind of working my way around. And then once I've got everything completely covered in antiquing wax, I am going to take my heat gun and just kind of let it dry a little bit. And I'm doing that on purpose because I do want this to be dark. I want some variations. I want some highlights with some pieces that are, you know, maybe where the um, antiquing wax didn't really adhere. And uh, I am literally just wiping it off, as you see, until I have the color that I like. I did go back in and kind of play around with more of the antiquing wax and then wiped it off again. And when it was all dried, uh, this is what it looked like. And I really, really am happy with this. I simply added some hot glue to the center, put my mirror in place, made sure that that mirror was good and dry, and then added a simple picture hook on the back. And this is the mirror. I think it's kind of cool. It gives me fall vibes. I think it kind of looks like acorns. What do you guys think? Now my next DIY project is going to incorporate some goodies that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I have some of these wood beads that did come on garland. So they were already these stained and beautiful colors. I also have these little mini velvet pumpkins. This was a 12 pack. And then I have some twine and an embroidery needle. The twine I did go ahead and double over versus tying a knot in it. If you double it over, it's going to make life so much easier when you are building your garland that we're going to be doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take one of my pumpkins and we're going to literally thread it through the um, needle and uh, twine, not needle and thread, but needle and twine. And then I'm going to take a couple beads and put it on there. And then I'm going to thread another pumpkin. Then I'm going to alternate with the lighter colored bead and then another pumpkin and just repeat that process until all of my pumpkins are used. I think if I were going to do this again, I probably would have bought two packages of the pumpkins. They came in a 12 pack and um, I needed more to be able to go across the entire fireplace, but that's okay because as you will see, it still works out really well. And I was able to use it for a cute accent on my fireplace around this sugar mold candle holder that I have in my mantle. And I'll show you a couple other ways that you can style this too for um, the fall on a tiered tray even, make it, treat it almost like it's a garland. And for my next DIY, I'm gonna be using some of my recycling. I've got this plastic yogurt container and also this garden fencing that I picked up at the 99 cent only store. Yes, it's marked $1.99, but apparently um, the 99 cent only store started off as a 99 cent only store and then grew to carry more merchandise that is uh, more than 99 cents. Sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? So I took some scissors and we we're just gonna cut right through my container because my container is a little little bit large and I wanted to um, trim this down just a little bit. So once I kind of trimmed this uh, upper kind of lip off of it, then it was time to start working on my garden fencing. Now for this next part, I'm going to unroll my bamboo garden fencing. If you are using a different type of garden fence, maybe something that's picketed or maybe something that's, um, you know, I don't know what other kind of garden fences there could be, um, but you can keep it on the roll like I'm doing here, or you can remove it. I actually do end up removing mine because my uh, yogurt container is a little bit fluted. And if I were to try and just roll this on here, I was afraid it wouldn't really go on as nicely as I was hoping. So I just kind of lined it up and then I took my my wire cutters and just clipped it apart and then started removing all of the bamboo pieces. Once I had all of those bamboo pieces removed, then it was time to just start gluing those in place, kind of like so. You do have to add a little bit extra of the glue in order to get the bamboo pieces to stick to this because there's a little bit of a well because, you know, bamboo is hollow and um, you'll want to um, kind of fill in those holes. But as you can see, everything stuck just fine and it was ready to start working on the second part which is adding a ribbon. 
Now I have this burlap ribbon that has this great white lace down the center of it. I really like this, but I did want to have something that was a little more fall. So I am going to go ahead and take this ribbon, just wrap it around here. And then I'm going to follow it up with this orange ribbon that I have that will tie in some of the fall colors really, really nicely. I did just glue everything down. I glued the burlap ribbon first to the actual bamboo pieces and then I took my glue gun and I just squeezed out the tiniest amount of hot glue onto the ribbon itself and then added that orange ribbon on top of it. I'm actually using the heat from my gun to kind of spread out any of the glue that um, I'm going to be putting onto that ribbon. That way it doesn't really show through the orange ribbon as badly as it would if I just kind of globbed it on there. And then I'm not the best at bow making, so I just kind of cheated and made this bow. Ta-da! And uh, as you can see now, it is ready for decorative um, flowers. So for this, because it is watertight, technically, you could use this for fresh flowers. Um, I'm just going to put some Dollar Tree flowers in here. I'm not even going to separate these Dollar Tree flowers and kind of create a normal arrangement because I'm actually going to be using these flowers in another DIY that's coming up. But I just wanted to kind of give you the idea and, you know, present the idea for you. It's really fun. I love the orange ribbon treatment that was added to the burlap and the lace and it just kind of ties everything nicely together. And I think it looks really good on a tray on my coffee table. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed these projects today. If you did, let me know below which one was your favorite. Also, if you're one of my long-term subscribers, thank you guys so much for being here. You know, I call you guys my OGs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are a brand new subscriber or maybe you're just checking it out for the first time, hopefully you will stick around and become a long-term subscriber. Also, remember to follow me on all the other social media platforms if you have them. TikTok, Pinterest, Facebook, obviously here on YouTube and Instagram. All right, guys, thank you again. Take care.